everyone, welcome into Crochet Life and Stuff with Debra presents me, Debra. Hi, <laughs> with a look through of something that I got in the mail because I subscribed to a magazine. That's right, I subscribed to Crochet World, pay for it with my own monies. Um, not sponsored, not affiliated, but you know, if they wanted to, I wouldn't be opposed to it. Okay, I'm just saying. And that is, of course, put out by Annie's. And Annie's Crochet also does a calendar. And this came with my subscription renewal this year for Crochet Calendar 2022. It's year-round accessories. And I thought it was just going to be pictures of the accessories and stuff. I didn't know what I would be getting. Y'all, besides it being, yes, it does have the thing where you can hang it. It's got the hole already drilled. Look on this very first page. Some cute pumpkins shown. Um, they also have different key codes for, for each month. Like there's a key code for free shipping in January. And they show you this picture of this really cool trivet that I think it's crocheted. I don't even know. But also some different days have different things circled. Like one down here, free scissors with shippable order. There's a post Christmas sale, a purple tag sale. I don't know what that means, but I like purple. Hello. For February, look at this cute bunting. That is stinking adorable, and I bet it's easy enough for me to make. Little hearts on a little garlandy thing. Oh, free organizer with shippable order. Enjoy free shipping, and that's on Valentine's Day, apparently. And on this one here, there's a key code for the whole month of February. 60% off how-to videos all month. Oh, look at March. Look at that. Now that is an extreme close up, of course. But that looks like a cup cozy, maybe. I'm not, I can't tell exactly what's in it. Um, Annie's Kit Clubs, 74, blah, 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 blah. Let's see if I can speak. 75% off your first kit subscription all month long in March. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Nin the 19th of March is apparently National Quilting Day. And there's no other specials going on except for a couple of purple tag sales. Don't know what these purple tag sales are. I'm going to check them out. Wow. Look at that. That is so pretty. So many flowers and little motifs. Ooh. A lot of counting, I imagine. But gosh, that's gorgeous. And uh, $2 off pattern downloads all month in the month of April. That's what they say there. There's also something called Fiber Monday on the 11th of April. Okay. There's a whole bunch of days marked for exclusively Annie's sale throughout the month. Could be interesting to see. In May, 20% off craft kits all month. And wow, look at that bag. What a cool bag. I really like that. Those little flower motifs. I also think that would make a cool throw. Instead of making it into a bag if you didn't want a bag or whatever. That is just so pretty. Or a table runner. Especially for spring or summer. Those little flowers are so pretty. Um, also in May, a free tote bag with a shippable order on one day. And the semi-annual sale. You know that's probably going to be good. Uh, in the month of June, which is my birthday month. Thank you very much. I am a June baby. Uh, extra 10% off clearance all month. And look at that blanket. That's another pretty one for spring. It might just be a throw. I don't know how big that is. And uh, Friday, June 3rd is National Donut Day. And they have on here, do not, do not miss this deal. Yeah, thanks, Annie. Um, midweek shipping offer later on in the month. They also have on here all the regular holidays and stuff too. I get, think it's mostly just American holidays. It could be some Canadian holidays as well. Um, so that's kind of helpful. It is an actual calendar besides just having cool stuff. Wow, look at this. This really looks knitted. It might be a knitted thing. 15% off site-wide all month in July. So all the things. And that's really pretty. Also, in the middle of July, they've got a day for look for new Christmas designs. <laughs> oh, it gets earlier and earlier. Yes, I know. When we craft, we have to start early, but a girl can gripe sometimes. Okay, I think they should be starting the Halloween stuff then, not the Christmas stuff. But that's just me. 
Also, choose your site-wide savings on a couple of days in July. In August, 20% off downloads all month. And those are cute. Little accessories for the little bitty things there. Dorbs. There's also $5 items on August the 5th. And free mystery freebie with shippable order on the 14th of August. In September, I'm kind of digging these, Twenty-five, dollars $5 off a $25 plus yarn or fabric orders all month. You know we can easily spend 25 bucks, right? Look at those. Those are cute. It's like leg warmers, but more modern. Just put them over your boots and the fingerless gloves. Love it because you know I love my fingerless gloves. Um, also, that month in September, we've got a $2 Tuesday, one of the Tuesdays. And a, quote, shipping deal. It doesn't say what that shipping deal is, but there is a shipping deal sometime later in the month. Oh, here we go. In October, the 2023 calendars ship for $1.99 all month. That There is a code for that there. And look at these cute things for October. Those are stinking adorable. I like those a lot, the pumpkins. Um, also, October the 11th, it says autumn attic you know y'all need to quit with the puns okay uh download savings 21 percent off yarn and fabric one of the days in october november 15 percent off site wide all month and look at that table setting that is really pretty with the placemat the napkin ring that's that's really pretty we don't eat fancy like that but i like looking at it might even like making it um, also, they have a couple of days of purple sticker sale, which isn't purple tag sale, so I don't know if they change things. Um, there's also a Black Friday event and a Cyber Monday deal that month, all right? December, $5 off every $25 all month. There's a code for that as well. And, uh, oh, and my cat's trying to invade. Nice. And look at that bag in December. I'm going to have to pause this. He won't stop. Sorry about the jump there, and now he's in my lap. Apparently, he had to sit with Mama. Okay. Also, in December, there is an Annie's Big Pattern download event for a couple of days and a year-end clearance. And then, surprise of all surprises, y'all, the patterns. That's right. Each one of these months, no, they're not take out like a separate paper like that fancy one that everybody had this past year that I didn't have, but I mean like everybody else. Um, yeah, it's a lot of really cool stuff. Um, that one that I thought might be a knit because it kind of looks like a knit stitch. Nope, it is crochet. That winter solstice hot pad. Try not to show the pattern because I don't want to get my video taken down. But that is really cool. And I could see you doing that with different colors too and not just the green. But they give you a chart for it too. Sweet. That is done in worsted weight yarn. It's listed as an intermediate, okay? <clears throat> Pardon me. The next one is the Heart Garland from February. That's listed as an easy. It's done in a number four yarn. And yeah, a pattern for the Heart Garland. What? Okay, I'm liking this. And this was free with my subscription. And I love looking through the magazines. Even if I don't make anything out of a magazine, I enjoy the look through. I enjoy the read. Okay, that was a cup cozy that I was looking at. This is called the Butterfly Cup Cozy. That is that picture right there, a little bit further back so you can kind of see what it is. And that is really cute. They're calling that for a confident beginner. And it uses a number four weight yarn. And it looks like it's actually doable. This one here, the Vivaldi Throw, that is the one with all of the motifs and the flowers. Let's see if I can get that in there. That was the one over the chair, really pretty. Its skill level is intermediate. It's done in a DK weight, a three weight. And there are some diagrams and stuff. Oh yeah, big old diagram on how to put that sucker together. Whoa. The Spring Posy bag is also an intermediate. That's that bag that I love the little flower motifs in. That one there. They're calling that for an intermediate. It's done in a three weight, a DK. And it's done in mercerized cotton. Yes, I love me some mercerized cotton. Okay. And there is a, uh, a graph on how to put it together, which colors to put together, and how to put the stinking thing together 
in general. They even give you a diagram of the petals of the flower. That is awesome. Oh, this is called the Scrap Baby Afghan. Okay, the one with the pretty colors that I thought would be nice for spring and summer. Um, it's called an intermediate and it's done in a four weight yarn. Okay, a bunch of different colors. This one here is the Star Spangled Hot Pad, which I thought might be knitted. No, it's crocheted as well. I guess everything here is crocheted, but boy, did it look knitted when I looked at the stitches. And it's calling as an intermediate as well. Probably just a stitch that might be a little bit, you know, more than single half double or double crochet. And there is a graph in there for that one too. The baby button boot socks and ear flap cap. That's a mouthful. That was a little cute one with the little kids with the little boot covers and the hat thingy bob. That one's for an intermediate. It's done in a worsted way and it gives you different sizes to do and stuff. I ain't got no babies in my life, but it's cute to look at. And it even gives you directions on how to make your pom-pom. September's Rustic Mitts and Boot Toppers. Yeah, I can see myself making this. Though That one there. Um, it's called an easy. It's done in a worsted weight. Yeah, that looks like it's doable, even doable by someone like me. Although I probably have to size up on both of them. I got big old monster hands and big old mega feet. So to get anything over them, I wear a size 13 women's shoes. In men's, that's an 11. I think in UK sizes, that's an 11. Um, yeah, I'm just a big girl, okay? I'm almost six feet tall. And I have a reach as high as, almost as high as my husband's. And he's, he is a little over six foot. So, <laughs> yes. It's a problem. The struggle is real. The pumpkin patch baskets. I don't see a picture on this page for them. Oh, yeah, they have a picture on the next page showing all three of them. But there are directions on all of them. The skill level on that says intermediate and it's done in a four weight. And yeah, I think if something is done in a four weight and I explain the stitches, I can probably do it. I mean, I might mess it up following the pattern, but I'll wing it and kind of do my own thing with it like I do with just about everything else. Uh, I really like those baskets though. Those are so stinking adorable. Um, the Falling Leaves Placemat and Napkin Ring from November. They don't say what the skill level is for that. I guess it's a mystery. Create your own skill level. But it is all done in a four way. And I think that just glancing at it, it's doable. It's totally doable. This tote bag that they're calling Winter Holidays Tote for December, that's that cute bag with the tassel on it. Um, they're calling that an intermediate, probably because of the color work that's in it, because you, know, you are carrying colors and stuff in there. But it's done in a four weight. It's not done in any weird little tiny one or two. Boy, that's nice, isn't it? I know a lot of you like to work with thread. I can't see the stuff. It's beautiful. I love the stuff that people make with the thread and the really tiny small yarns. And I look at it and I go, it's pretty. These eyeballs just cannot handle it. Okay, yeah. But yeah, intermediate on that one. Oh, and I know that there's another page in here. I'm gonna make sure I'm not missing anything. Oh, it's just a, another picture of that bag and how to make the tassel. I think this is nicely put together. These are all of the, the items that are in this calendar, sort of a snapshot right there. And I think, you know, even if you don't, now the price on this, this is interesting. The suggested retail price, if you buy it in the store, is $8.99 US and $10.99 Canada. So if you order it, you might be able to find it cheaper. Or if you already subscribe to Crochet World, you know, get yourself a deal. I thought this was a lot of fun. I, and it was already open because I got this flat piece of mail and I had forgotten about the offer. I renewed my magazine weeks and weeks ago. And I, you know, it's something you don't think about. It wasn't like a big thing coming. It's like, oh yeah, I got a calendar coming. No biggie, right? Well, the hubby hands me the mail that day and he says, this is, it's for you. It says it's a product you ordered. I'm like, what? I didn't order anything. I figured it'd be some kind of junk mail or something. No, the exact opposite of junk mail. Are you kidding me? Love it. So I've been waiting a couple of days. I just haven't had time to come in here and make a video for it. I'm glad I did. 
Which thing would you like to make out of here? Look at all of those. Now I've already told you, I, I think I probably will make these uh, boot covers and mitts and I will probably not wait until next year to do it. I've got it in my hot little hands now. Of course, I don't know what time, when I'm going to have to make it. There are so many things on the agenda. But uh, yeah, there's so many cute things here and not all of them are difficult. Or t some of them are really small, so they're like little quick makes. I like those because I'm not that fast of a crocheter. So it's kind of nice to be able to get things done quickly. I do thank you for coming by and looking through that calendar with me. Tons of fun. By the way, this hat was the first hat that I ever made. It's a little big and wonky. It's supposed to just be, you know, a regular flip up thing there, but I kind of like the front being bent down. It's one of Crystal Bag of Days patterns. I don't remember which one. And the yarn that I used was a little bit bigger than what she suggested, which is probably why it's big. But her tutorial was, of course, perfect because, yeah. But I did this like way at the beginning of 2021. Um, and this yarn, I don't remember what it was. It is not a regular yarn. It's like a nylon around a poofy cotton or a poofy polyester fill thing. It's really squishy. It's really squishy. But I kind of like it. It's colorful and crazy, kind of like me. I'm kind of colorful and crazy, I think. <laughs> thank you again for coming by i would love it if you hit that like button before you left and uh if you're not subscribed already go ahead and subscribe also check my description you never know what you're going to miss um if you don't look at the description of every video that you watch all of your content creators we put stuff in there and i would also love it love it love it if you would leave me a comment let me know which one you'd like to make out of there they're all kind of fun see you very soon bye now